welcome to Linux help tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Shinken monitoring framework in Ubuntu. Shinken is an open source monitoring framework which is based on Nagi OS core. It is written using the Python and it is licensed under the terms of GNU Afero general public license. Since it is based on the Nagi OS core, you can use the Nagi OS configuration and plugins without modifying or rewriting them. And it is very easy when compared to Nagi OS in terms of usage and installation. It is a multi-platform and you can use easily migrate from Nagi OS. Some of the other features of Shinken monitoring framework is it has a full virtualization integration and load balancing, high availability, multi-platform, multi-sites management, etc. Now we can see the installation of Shinken monitoring framework. First login as root. Now we need to install the following packages. apt-get install python pip space python hyphen py curl space python hyphen cherry py3 space python hyphen setup tools space hyphen y. Now give enter. Now the packages are getting installed. This will take some time. Now the packages are installed. Next we need to create a new user named Shinken. The command is add user space Shinken. Now give enter. Now enter the password for the user and retype the password. And you can leave this option as default. Just press enter and give yes. Now the user is created. Next we can download and install the Shinken package. The command is pip install Shinken. Now give enter. Now it is downloading the package. This will take some time. Now the Shinken installation is completed. Next you need to initialize the Shinken. For that you need to switch the user to Shinken. SU Shinken. Now give enter. Now the user is changed. Now run the command shinken hyphen hyphen init to initialize the shinken. Now give enter. Now we can see it has created a new configuration file. Now we need to install the shinken web user interface. The command is shinken install web UI. Now give enter. Now the web UI is installed. Next install the shinken identification module. The command is shinken install auth hyphen cfg hyphen password. Now give enter. Now the identification module is installed. Next we need to install the SQLite DB module. The command is shinken install SQLite DB. Now give enter. Now the SQLite DB package is installed. Next you need to configure the Shinken. First you need to enable the web UI that you have installed by editing the broker master.cfg file. The command is nano slash etc shinken broker broker master.cfg now give enter. Now we need to add the web UI in the following line modules space web UI. Now save the file and exit. Now to enable the authentication modules and SQLite database, you need to edit the webui.cfg file. The command is nano slash etc shinken modules webui.cfg. Now give enter. Now we can see the modules option here. Space auth hyphen cfg hyphen password comma sqlite db now save the file and exit now we need to restart the shinken service the command is service shinken restart now give enter now the shinken service is restarted and you can change your shinken web ui admin username and password by editing the admin.cfg file slash etc shinken contacts slash admin.cfg 
here you can see the admin username and password the contact name is the username the password is the password the default username and password is admin admin i am not going to change the username and password next you need to install the monitoring plugins the command is now exit the shinken user and we can install the monitoring plugins the command is wget iphon iphon no check iphon certificates space now give the download link for the monitoring plugins the download link is here and copy this link and paste it in the terminal now give enter now the monitoring plugins package is downloaded now extract the package tar xvf and the package name now give enter now change the directory to the monitoring plugins directory now list the files now you can see the configure executable file you need to use the configure executable file to configure the monitoring plugins dot slash configure space hyphen hyphen with hyphen nagi os hyphen user equal to shinken space hyphen hyphen with hyphen nagi os hyphen group equal to shinken space hyphen hyphen enable hyphen lib tab space hyphen hyphen enable hyphen extra hyphen opt space hyphen hyphen enable hyphen perl hyphen modules space hyphen hyphen lib exe c dir equal to slash user lib slash nagi os slash plugins now give enter now it is configuring the plugins next you need to run the make install command to install the monitoring plugins now give enter now the monitoring plugins are getting installed this will take some time now the monitoring plugin installation is completed next you need to restart the shinken service service shinken restart now give enter now the shinken installation is completed now open the browser now enter your ip address with the port number 7767 now we can see the shinken web user interface login page now enter the username and the password the username is admin and the password for the user now click login now the shinken is successfully logged in now we can click the dashboard there's no widgets that are added the it problems you don't have any problems here then click the all now you can see the local host that is configured that is the shinken server and it is up on the there's no problem in the local host and there is no services that are added to the shinken server now so there is no services available here's the graph and the impact graphs you can see the impact graphs and graphs after adding the services in the system you have the shinken state on the dashboard you can add your widgets now click add a new widget and you can add your system state now now click add system widget and click close now the system information is added the shinken monitoring framework is successfully installed in ubuntu in the next video we can see how to monitor the linux clients using the shinken monitoring framework thank you for watching